Bro, what time is it? Oof, God. Ah, well, well, well. Look who decided to show up. You're late, and we've got a lot to cover. So please pay attention, because I'm not gonna repeat myself. There's a monster on the loose, and the only way to defeat it? Bring the fastest car and the most skilled drivers. The Gander Outdoors Truck Series battled Friday afternoon and reestablished a heavy contender at Dover. Johnny Sutter took home the gold for the third straight time at the Monster Mile, just edging out Brett Moffitt. But today's battle is going to go to Johnny Sauter. Sauter through turn four. He's going to win the Monster. Johnny Sauter for the third straight time. The 24 led much of the race, showing he had one thing on his mind, domination. Whoa, was that a stage one finish? Uh-oh, there goes Austin Wayne Self spinning himself into the wall, and we have impact. Sheldon Creed clears a path and knocks himself out of the race. It ultimately came down to the 13 versus the 24 in a mad dash to the finish with Sauter taking the lead and never letting go. Now tell me, does this ring a bell? Now the win and another $100,000 for Bell. Well, it should, as Christopher Bell took his third Xfinity Series win of the season in spectacular fashion with a wreck behind him and gold in front of him. Bell wins and Zane Smith and John Hunter Nemechek collide, taking the action across the checkers. Doesn't matter where you are in the race, it all comes down to the wire. And spinning at the checkers is the eight of Zane Smith. Earlier, Nemechek got into it with Kaz Grawl on the final stage, proving the number 23 was a little on the chip. Bell took his prize, a gold Miles the Monster, and a check for $100,000. Well, Kid Flash, looks like you've made it clear that you're miles away from the competition. Get it? Miles? Anyway, Bell gave away the checker flag to one lucky kid and solidified his position atop the podium. Next up was the Cuppers, who had to wait until Monday to get their chance in the ring. And let's just say they win a few rounds and then some. Martin Trucks Jr. proved his skill as he powered his way from the rear of the field and passed Alex Bowman for the lead, holding off the 88 until he crossed the checkered. Got plenty of room behind him to bring it back here, bud. Plenty of room behind him to bring it back to the checkered flag for me, brother. But that wasn't the only battle of the day. Here goes Jimmy and Denny getting a little too close for comfort, and now Bowman pulls a fast one on Kyle Larson with a bump and run. Nice moves, Bowman. Leaving it all on the track and earning that second place finish. Despite the 19 claiming the top spot, Bowman seemed happy about the outcome. Better if we had a trophy, right? But, um, you know, we, we needed this for sure. Truex took the time to thank fans for not having a case of the Mondays and had one hell of a burnout. Truex's first career win came on a Monday at Dover. Meanwhile, Kyle Larson was just content with finally having a good day. And we're glad he did. After last week's tumble, a third place finish is a welcome return to form. That's it for Rearview Mirror. Check back in next week when the drivers get swept away to a faraway land and get lost in Kansas.